Hi, this is Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer, your QuickBooks and Accounting Experts. This video is aimed at showing you how to set up an HSA for an employee deduction. So in other words, the employee has elected to contribute funds to a company-sponsored HSA. HSA stands for Health Savings Account. And so the employer, while not contributing, is going to be responsible for withholding the funds from the employee's check and then, of course, passing those funds on to the administrator of the HSA. So um, within QuickBooks, you'll start by going to List, Payroll Item List, and then anywhere on the screen, you can just right click, again that's a right click, and select new. And you want to select custom. And then next. And this is going to be a deduction. And you can see there's HSA right there. So next. Give it a name. HSA employee. Alright, and then click next. And um, at, at this point, name whoever, the, the, the name of the agency is going to be whoever the plan's administrator is. So I just selected one called HSA Bank. HSA Bank. And then um, whatever your, your account number is, that's a good idea to put that number there because that way if you print checks from QuickBooks, it will populate in the memo field with your account number. And then here, I would suggest that um, because you have uh, parent account and sub accounts in play, I would recommend that we create a new liability account. So you can see the next logical number for my setup is 2260. So 2260 and then um, set up. It is indeed an other current liability and perhaps put HSA employee. Um, here. Make it a sub account of 2100 and then click save and close. Now you have all of your deductions from employees checks go into this particular liability account. And then on the tax tracking type we want to select HSA employee. Now um, in this case, the, what sparked this video is a client has one that is pre-taxed. So I'm doing this really for client specific, but I figured a lot of people could probably benefit from this information. So when setting yours up, make sure that it's pre-taxed or it's taxable. And um, in this case, it's pre-taxed. So we'll click next and leave these alone. This is how we want this to be. And then uh, most likely th uh, these are not going to apply, and, and in this case it doesn't apply, and so we'll click next. Um, if there is a percentage that you want withheld or a flat amount you want withheld, you would put it here. Um, so let's just say $100. If there is an annual limit, you would put that limit right here. And then most likely it's going to restart each year. All right. And um, so then we say finished. All right. And then finally, um, what you're going to do is to add this item to each of the employees payroll deductions. And uh, that's that's a subject for another day. I'm assuming you know how to do that. And then when it's time to pay this, you will pay it through a payroll liability. All right. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment. You can also email us at info at quicktrainer.biz, B-I-Z, or .net. So info at quicktrainer.biz or info at quicktrainer.net. Also, you can visit our website, www.quick trainer.net and you can call us 910-338-0488 otherwise